Hey guys, it's Ravenhawk6910 reporting once again. It is just the end of January of 2022, and I thought it would be a good idea to do another layout update. I've gotten a lot done here recently, so let's go ahead and take a look at everything that has been done on the branch line so far. Firstly, the main thing, as you can see, I finally got the grain elevator spur operational. So the grain elevator at the end of the branch line is set up and ready to go. So to get the grain elevator spur ready, I went ahead and got a Bachman number five turnout here and uh, just ran the track straight through under the hopper there to the grain elevator itself. Nothing fancy, just a straight track down into that spur. And I've got enough track in here to hold four hoppers in the main track and some locomotives here on the side or two additional hoppers in that spur if I choose to do that. And it works out well for switching because I can push two cars under the hopper here and then have a switcher cut off the midsection, run them onto this spur and swap them out as need be. I posted a video showing how I'm going to switch this elevator uh, just the other day. So if you want to see that, go check that video out. But it's nice to have the main industry done at the end of the branch line here. I still need to get a couple more nickel silver turnouts to replace these two pieces of track here. But once that's done, I'll be able to have all nickel silver on the track over here. So that'll be good. Down here on the end of the branch line, I added some more grass tufts to this little area here inside the forest. Uh, these came from JTT. I don't think I'm going to use this particular brand of JTT or style of JTT grass anymore because it's very small and it was very, very difficult to handle. But either way, grass tuft wise, we're up to 874 pieces now. So. Moving right along as far as coverage goes, and it's looking more and more like an actual layout, which is pretty cool. I've also added this huge tuft section right back here and towards the entrance of the forest. And that, it's a little dark back there, but you can kind of see that stretches all the way back to that row of bushes right there. There's also some flowers on the layout now. We've got some here. Another little patch right here. And another patch right here. And this is all that JTT stuff. Um, but they look pretty good, you know. They're basic, but, you know, I think they look pretty nice. And also, I've got more trees to go down the final stretch here. These are all just Woodland Scenics tree armatures. So I'm going to start getting foliage put on those here soon. And that will get that scenic up. And then I can start adding grass to the back of this section here. I've already got some. Let me use my 050 switcher here. <laughs> I've already got the grass right here towards where the park is. But I went ahead and stopped for now because I want to get the trees finished first before I start gluing any more grass down. So any more grass that will go down will go down this stretch, down the shelf this way, or it will go in the back part here towards the rear of the forest. So, but yeah, slowly making some progress here. Now, other things I've been working on is getting DCC installed in a couple of locomotives and the first ones are these right here um, This is an Atherin Genesis GP40-2 and a Bowser SD40-3 and these units are really cool I haven't got their individual road numbers plugged in yet But check out the Bowser unit here Woo! Look at those strobe lights <laughs> Because this thing is supposed to be a remote control unit. And they are stupid bright. So that's really awesome. 
I also went ahead and put a lock pilot into this Atlas C40-8W, so that's good to go. And I put one into this Rapido F7B unit. Now I've got the A unit back here. This is the 1401, which is the Royal Canadian Pacific one. But I'm going to use this B unit to have sort of a transition era from the late 60s, early 70s, which I think will look cool. And then I also got DCC put into this. This is a Bachmann Spectrum USRA Malay. And this one has been around for quite some time. In fact, if you've watched with some of my very old videos from like 2014, you'll have seen this engine. But this came from the collection of my friend Dick Taylor. And uh, I also... This is the one, if I can get it into focus, there we go. This is the one that I added the name, his name, to the bottom of the cab. Just sort of a way to remember him by. But I did not put a lock pilot in here. I put a Digitrax decoder in there, but now it's running and it's really cool to run it on DCC now. So that's pretty awesome. And then a couple of new locomotives that arrived. These are ones I wasn't sure I was even going to be able to purchase because of the demand, but I got my hands on this Athern Genesis Canadian Pacific SD70 ACU, number 7010, and I got the British Columbia Railway C44-9WL from Athern Genesis. These are nice models, really nice models. And yes, I did just put lock pilots in them. I don't really need sound in all of my engines. I'm okay with having some silent runners. So these two are ready for service along with the Dash 8. However, I do need to do some CV programming for the ditch lights. But we'll take care of that. And then it, they will be good to go. So that'll about wrap it up for this update, guys. There's been a lot of stuff happening down here and not a lot all at the same time as usual. I'm hoping to do some more stuff down here soon. Uh, we are getting to the time of the year of tax returns and that is always Model Railroad expansion budget money. So we'll see what I'm able to do within reason. Everything in moderation, including moderation. But, uh... We'll see what happens. There's also going to be a couple of train shows coming up. One in February in Fort Oglethorpe, Georgia. And one in March in Cartersville, Georgia. So I might try to go to those shows. We'll see. But if I do, I'll certainly let you guys know what I find, if anything. But for now, I'm going to let you guys go. And I will see you all next time. This is Ravenhawk6910. Signing off. <laughs>